Konnichiwa, and welcome to Tsuki no Ame, where we try Japanese snacks and treats. Today we have two snacks to try from Tokyo Treat. So the first, this is uh, this is the squid and pickle ginger tempura chips. And if you've been on the channel for a while, you probably already know this. If you're new, hi, welcome, thank you for joining. Uh, fish and seafood snacks have been very hit or miss on the channel, more miss than hit. Um, if you're somebody who enjoys fish and seafood, then you probably already know this, uh, but it, it can get old and kind of go off very quickly. And just something about the processing of these snacks for me has often resulted in that being the kind of flavor as opposed to like the fresh, really delicious seafood. That said, we have had good ones. Yesterday, we had a shrimp cracker from Soccer Co. That was really actually pretty good. Uh, we had another one earlier this month, which I remember uh, that it, it had that fresher, you know, more delicious taste. Uh, but then we also had the crab sticks. <laughs> so this is going to be, we're, we're going to give this a shot. Um, it does have in its favor that it is, you know, pickled ginger, which I personally love. And that is, you know, tempura style. I'm a fan of tempura. We're, we're going to find out. We're also going to try. This is the ponsuke, sorry, ponsuke nori and salt snacks. These pretty straightforward. These are rice crackers. They're seaweed and salt flavor. Should be pretty good. I am looking forward to these just because, yeah, seaweed and salt. It's one of those where we've run into this combination several times in these snacks and I don't know, just for me, they work. It just, I, I think it's one of those where over in Japan, this is a very common uh, flavor combination just because it, it it's tasty. It, I don't know, some sometimes, you know, we get one that kind of makes me think of onigiri. They've been really pretty good. I am looking forward to that. So with all that in mind, let's get started. Itadakimasu! Uh, and yes, I start with the one I'm most dreading so that I can get the flavor out of my mouth faster. Oh, I can smell it already. Ooh. Yeah, I can smell it and I really don't want to I don't want to do this. <coughs> Please subscribe. That is... The pickle changer helps cover it up. But the squid is just, it, it's it got that aged, oh, it, mm. it's also, it's really crunchy and thick and you really kind of have to bite to get through it, which means it is in your mouth longer. Yeah, just, you never know with these whether they're going to be good or not and just until you try them or you watch me suffer through so you don't have to. Uh, cannot recommend. I'm just, I, I have to move on because I was just, oh, just no. It's, it's bad. Ooh. This has me feeling optimistic. You can see like the bits of nori on there. This is a lot bigger than I thought, than the picture on the packaging led me to believe. I don't know why, but when you, like the first taste of it is, it's oddly sweet. It, uh, but it's really good. It has kind of a light crunch that is super easy <laughs> to crunch through. 
uh, I'd say it was more sweet than salty. It's not bad. It is definitely kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of funky, but the texture is super, super pleasant. And by virtue of not having fish is my preferred of the two. <laughs> but gochu so sama. So to recap, we did our squid and pickled ginger tempura chips, which, um, very strong squid smell. The pickled ginger helps mask kind of the old squid flavor to it, but it can only do so much. And they're really thick and kind of hard to crunch through. These are not pleasant, unfortunately. These are one of the misses. Cannot recommend. I just, I can't. We also tried the Ponsuke Nori and Salt Snacks, which were oddly sweet. They kind of have a crispy crunch to them that is really pleasant to chomp through. Um, they're not bad. Definitely better than the Squid and Pickled Ginger Tempura Chips. Uh, I do think we've had some better snacks this month. But not bad if you have the chance to try them and you're curious. I, I certainly wouldn't hesitate to try them. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. If you like my shirt, the link for that is down in the description below. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Johnny.